What's up everyone? On this week's fabrication series, I'm gonna show you guys how we TIG weld chromoly frame tubing. Now this particular tubing is 049 wall. It's pretty thin. It's some extra material I had laying around from a previous project I was doing. We're gonna go through machine settings, prepping the material and actual techniques for when you're welding it. We use a Miller Dynasty 285, a water-cooled model by Miller that has worked phenomenal for us. Of course, we want to be on DC as chromoly and steel are a DC material. We're going to set our pre-flow to 1.2 as you want gas flowing out of that nozzle before you strike your electrode. Let's set the post flow around 12 seconds for now. We're going to adjust that later to get the weld to look a certain way. We want our amperage around 60 amps. That'll be perfect for this material. All right, as for our torch setup, we're going to use a Monster 16, a large gas lens for maximum shielding. Anytime you can get away with a large gas lens, use it because you wanna shield that well that keeps it clean and strong. As for the tungsten, we're gonna use a 16th inch, 2% serrated tungsten, sharpened to a point and then scotch brighted for a smooth finish. As for the gas setup for this nozzle, I'm gonna run about 35 CFH of argon through that gas lens. Make sure you always prep your weld seams properly. I like to use standard scotch brite and acetone as that offers for a prepped, sterile, clean surface that ensures for a strong weld. We're gonna be using 050 ER70 filler rod. All right, let's get our test pieces tacked up here. Here you can see they are tacked up. We've got good, tight seams. The pieces were coped really well, and we are ready for final welding. All right, we're rolling. You can hear that gas flowing out. There's nothing like welding a freshly prepped clean tube. Smooth and steady, just like any other material. The more you weld, the more confident you're gonna become and the smoother and calmer you're gonna be able to roll with your hands. People always tell me, they're like, I don't have steady hands. I don't know how to keep, yeah, yes you do. You can do this. It just takes confidence, it takes calmness. You don't really have to have steady hands, you know? And as you're welding this tubing, you're gonna be kind of rolling your cup as you go. Start on the bottom side, as far as, far so you can look down at your tungsten and try and get you know, 15, 20 dips, 25 dips out of it. You know, go as far as you can, um, but be comfortable, you know? Don't go too far where you end up messing the weld up or something, but go as far as you can where you're comfortable and stop and let the post flow roll out. You can have some start and stops in this. That's no biggie. Like anything else, if you want to get better at a certain material or welding in general, it's going to take a lot of practice. I encourage you to not be anxious about the process, just to put in the time and just practice. You need to become unconsciously competent, as they would say. That means developing the mental and the physical habits around the process. Here are the finished welds with about 12 seconds of post flow. There's some color there, very strong, nice pattern. And here are the finished welds with about 15 to 20 seconds of post flow. If you feel like using a little extra gas to keep that straw gold color. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see all the upcoming how-to fabrication tutorials. See you later.